Okay, hello. Uh, this video will be about this ugly bastard. Uh, and uh, the video is called, of course, the ugliest knife, because this knife is, in my opinion, one of the ugliest knife I see. I've seen. Uh, uh, it said here that it's uh, Emerson Horseman or something, which is not obviously because the Horseman looks uh, completely different. Still, the Horseman, in my opinion, is pretty ugly also. But I don't like Emerson knives, and I don't uh, force this opinion to anyone. This is just my opinion. I don't like that. I didn't like the spider at the beginning, now I'm pretty big fan of them. I like the designs, uh, most, maybe half the designs of spider -Co. For example, I like this uh, Manix 2, I think. A very nice knife. So yeah, comparison of the knives, uh, this is not super big, not... Uh, very uh, small knife, it's 20 centimeters. It weights, let's see, about 148 grams, so 150 grams almost. Uh, it's a Kermit uh, like design, this uh, Talon style uh, blade point. And it's good only for opening boxes, for me, because for me the knives are not uh, weapons, because this knife may be used, I guess, like a weapon, but I don't uh, take my knives uh, like that. They are tools for me, and also they are like uh, collector items. So this knife, <laughs> yeah, pretty ugly. Uh, like, when you close it, and you see it, you say, oh, not super ugly knife. Yeah, it even looks interesting when you open it. It's so ugly that it has even some, maybe some charm in it. Wow, this, <laughs> yeah, uh, and I think it. Um, I opened some boxes with it, uh, some other knives, and it's pretty well for that. It's meant for opening boxes or uh, something like uh, cardboard cutting, like this. But if you want to cut something on the table, <laughs> it's very funny. Because, see, it's uh, impossible, of course. You cannot cut anything on the table like vegetables or something for the salad or something. It's uh, <laughs> just a pretty useless knife, but I wanted to have it because it's super ugly. I wanted to make this video about this, the ugliness of the knife, and if somebody thinks that this knife is beautiful, uh, they're free to comment. I will, <laughs> I will, I want to see if uh, anybody thinks that this knife is beautiful. It's, uh, it's personal. Every knife design is personal. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think most people will hate this because it's. Uh, it's ugly and impractical. And this is only $14 on, uh, on AliExpress, so it's pretty cheap. And uh, yeah, the, the steel was uh, 4, 440C. Uh, oh, see, it's impossible. It's uh, 440A maybe. And it's around uh, 56 uh, Rockwell hardness, I think. So it's not the hardest knife, uh, but. Well, for fourteen dollars, it's just a show of peace. <laughs> Pretty hard uh, pocket clip, but yeah, strange, strange knife. That's it for this knife. Thank you. And I want to add a little bit uh, when it, when we talk about ugly knives. This is also one ugly, ugly knife, and it's also a. Uh, a knife which uh, is very strangely opening and closing. If you want to see a separate uh, video about this knife, maybe uh, write on the comments. Uh, this is pretty cheap knife. It was uh, maybe ten dollars or something like that, or even cheaper. I don't know. I don't know. It's a pretty unique opening and closing, and it's pretty ugly knife also. It has also locking here, but whatever. It's uh, you can 
easily uh, cut yourself when you open this knife like this for example and my finger is here and I can cut myself so uh, almost everybody which I give it uh, give to them uh, to, they try to open it when it's like this they cut or push themselves like this it's, uh, so if you want to see a review of this knife write in the comments thank you